What's up guys, this is Mike. Uh, I haven't made a pickup video in a while because I haven't been thrifting, so um, let's go thrifting. First stop of the day, my favorite Goodwill here in the East Bay, and also, I almost got hit by a car right here. So, pro tip, when you're out looking for games, look both ways before crossing the parking lot. Let's hope something good awaits me inside. Well, as you can see, there are a lot of movies, but hidden in here is Daisy Fuentes, I think that's how you say that, Pilates, on Wii by Sega. Not a good start, guys. Next to that, we've got the Platinum Hits edition of Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix. also not interested. And further down the line here, we've got miscellaneous sports games. Oh, here we go, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and uh, let's just check the case. Yep, it is stolen. This is actually a pretty big problem uh, lately. A lot of the game cases are empty, at least the good ones are. So unless you want sports games, yeah. Down a shelf, we've got a few miscellaneous Xbox games. Here's Dark Summit. Uh, I don't know much about it. It looks like some kind of weird skiing game for the original Xbox. I think I'll pass. And down here we have Chess Master. All right. Uh, $2.99, eh, I'm not a big chess fan, so again, I'm gonna pass, although the disc is in that one, go figure. I also like to check the CD section at Goodwills because I get a kick out of seeing CDs still, like this one for Weezer's Ratitude, which is a god-awful record, even by latter-day Weezer standards, post-Pinkerton Weezer standards. But there are sometimes PS1 games mixed in, like this copy of Tekken 2. We're in luck, guys. This looks like it's in good shape. So for three bucks, I'm taking home a copy of Tekken 2. Over in the display case, where they keep the newer generation games locked up, we've got a few things, but mostly it's filled with weird USB accessories. Looks like a Blu-ray player. Yeah, nothing much there. Up top, we've got Disney's Fantasia for the Xbox One and this PS4 copy of Toy Soldier's War Chest, but for $9.99, eh. So, yeah, nothing much in there. I like to check the carts, too, the stuff they're putting out always, because there might be something on there that I want, I can get before they put out. And in this case, there is a copy of Snowpiercer here on Blu-ray. Great movie. Let's just take one quick little pass down the electronics section here speakers, LCD computer monitors, an iron, a bunch of weird funky lamps. Okay, we're done. Directly next door, we've got a Salvation Army family store, so let's head in and see if they have anything. Right off the bat, we've got a bunch of crummy DVDs, four copies of Old School, and Gold Member, if anybody needs them. Yeah, nothing much here. Over in a separate DVD rack, we've got, let's see, oh, a white case. Maybe it's a Wii game. And it is, da da da, a copy of Air Bud. Oh. Wait a minute. This case is really gross. It looks like it was actually chewed by Air Bud. Who would want to buy that? Anyways, the only other game I see is this Monopoly collection. Two games in one. What? Are there two versions of Monopoly? Monopoly Streets. Yeah, I don't really want to get this, so I'm just going to put that right back there. Also, how about this creepy picture of this guy for $5,500? Why? Why? Well, that Salvation Army ended up being a bust, but I did pick up a copy of Tekken 2 for the PlayStation 1 in great condition for $2.99, and a copy of Snowpiercer on Blu-ray for $2.99, so not too bad. Um, let's head to the next destination. Well, I don't know about where you guys live, but in the town where I live and other towns close by, there's like five Goodwills all within driving distance of each other. This is one of my favorite ones here, so let's head on inside and see what we can find. Flipping through their DVD section here, we've got some original Xbox games, uh, all sports except for Ghost Recon. I'm not really interested in that. 
Oh, hey, here's a copy of Jet Set Radio Future with Sega GT 2002 on the other side. That's a pretty awesome combo game for the original Xbox if you don't already have it. Unfortunately, I do, so that's going back. Over here towards the end, we've got a urine-soaked copy of Spider-Man on the original Xbox. That's appropriate. And some PSP UMD movies and games, including The Punisher, Tron, Team America World Police, and Untold Legends. Yeah, I'm going to pass on all of those. And over in the glass case, I got a feeling about this, guys. We've got... Oh, no, I was right. It's five copies of the Black Eyed Peas experience for the Wii. Hmm. And over in the CD section, we've got... Mostly CDs. Uh, there were a few sports games in there, like this NFL Game Day. Woo! And I think there was, uh, yep, a NASCAR one and a bunch of other games that are bad. Now here's something that caught my attention. Action figures from the popular television series Hercules starring Kevin Sorbo. Such popular characters as Centaur Guy and Mount Olympus Games Discus Launcher Hercules. Here's one for Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. Haddly diddly. All right, so I struck out so much thrifting at the Goodwills that I went to, I thought I should make up for it by going to Phoenix Games here in Concord, California. This is an actual game store. They've got a great selection. As you can see, we've got some PS4 stuff uh, over here in this glass case. We've got NES games and pretty decent stuff. Uh, not bad on the prices either. So uh, if you're in the area, I definitely recommend checking them out. Here at the bottom of this case, we've even got some, well, few Sega CD titles and a couple of uh, Sega Saturn games here. So yeah, Phoenix Games, pretty decent stuff. Over in the glass case, we've got some PS1 games on display. Uh, nothing really jumping out at me that I just gotta have right this second. A little further down, we have some true classics, Atari games, 5200, 2600, and uh, some of them are even boxes, pretty cool. Up on the counter, how about that, a Vectrex, I don't see those every day, pretty neat stuff. Uh, we've also got some Master System games here, some in box, some without, uh, game gear down there at the bottom, and on the top, got some Lynx games, and what the hell, games for the... Philips CDI, wow, terrible system. Go back and watch my review of it. Uh, we've got some DS games here, and some DS lights, and GBA games. So yeah, lots of stuff. But today, I will only be picking up a couple of things that I think I just gotta have right now. Hey look, Majora's Mask, that's not it. I already have that. So yeah, if you happen to be in the East Bay in California, be sure to stop at Phoenix Games here in Concord. Pretty good selection, very nice staff, highly recommend. And I picked up a copy of Blast Core. Uh, this is an excellent game where you pilot a bunch of vehicles and blow a bunch of stuff up. What's not to like? Uh, and then I also got a copy of From Software's Ninja Blade. Uh, I think this is a highly underrated game for the Xbox 360. Uh, if you find it for cheap, pick it up. Uh, this is $7.99, not too bad. You know, I've, I've seen it for less, I think, at GameStop, but you know, it's, it's cool. Uh, so those are my two pickups here from uh, Phoenix Games. Now, ah, what the hell, let's go to GameStop. We might as well. Yeah, so I know they've got a buy two, get one free sale. So let's go inside and see if we can't find three games that I want or that I don't already have in my collection looking over the ps4 stuff yeah nothing really jumping out at me man just being in here brings back such crazy memories because i worked at gamestop in college for years and i have so many stories guys and i'm gonna save that for a different video looking at the wii u stuff here yeah who even cares about the wii u at this point i do i don't think anyone else does but i still like it uh let's flip through the bin here Unity, Killzone, Saints Row. Man, I have like all of these games. There's really not a whole lot that I haven't played. But we'll keep going. Uh, 
Let's see, more rugby. I didn't play that. I'm not gonna buy it though. Uh, 2K. I think that was the free game, wasn't it? Anyways, yeah, this is a this is a bunch of crap. So I found a couple of things at GameStop. They were doing a uh, buy two get one free sale. So I ended up getting three games. I got Shovel Knight, which. Uh, I already have this digitally, but I wanted a uh, box copy of it because I just did. It's a really great game if you haven't played that. I also got Far Cry Primal, which uh, I've been waiting on this one to go down in price. It was 26, uh, so I figured why not go ahead and take the plunge. And I also got a used copy of Star Fox Guard. Uh, this is my free one, and I think it was nine or 10 bucks or something like that. Uh, plus I had a coupon for $15 off of the purchase. So all together I got out of there with all of that for 35 bucks, not too shabby. All right, so let's take a look at some of the stuff I picked up uh, in May and April and June uh, that didn't make it into this thrifting video. Uh, the first thing I have here is a copy of Brave Fencer Musashi for the PS1. I played this game uh, when it originally came out uh, because it came with a demo of Final Fantasy VIII and so I bought it way way back in the day and I loved it uh, but I haven't had it since and I decided uh, to, to go looking for it. I actually found this in a retro game store in San Jose. Uh, the guy wanted 20 bucks for it so I, you know, I couldn't pass that up so uh, really great game if you haven't played this. It's a really underrated Square RPG. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Pokemon uh, Fire Red version. I made a custom case for it, um, but I found this loose at a Goodwill. And uh, there it is. And uh, I haven't played this one at all. I kind of missed the whole Pokemon train. Like, I think it was just too old uh, when it came out. And so I didn't really play a whole lot of the Pokemon games. But um, I went back and, and kind of messed around with some of them. I, I do like them. I enjoy them. My sister likes them a lot. So uh, it's definitely like something that I want to you go back and get into and see what all the, the craze is about. But um, yeah, I didn't really play a whole lot of it uh, when it was you know current or whatever. I mean, I guess it's still current. They're, they're still putting out Pokemon games. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see what else here I've got. Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. I actually just recently beat this. Uh, this is probably my favorite Castlevania for the DS. It's uh, very well put together. It's kind of like the culmination. There are three on DS. It's kind of the culmination of like all of the Castlevania on DS. Like it does everything that uh, the other two kind of were leading up to better. In the same vein, I picked up a copy of Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Uh, this is a very good Castlevania game as well for the DS if you enjoy that sort of Symphony of the Night feel to Castlevania versus the, the 3D stuff that they put out later on. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this game is the fact that when you're playing a boss and you beat a boss, you have to trace on the screen with your stylus a specific symbol that pops up. And you have to do it in a split second or the boss gets back all of his health. And it's kind of, I don't, I don't tend to play these games with styluses, so I don't really like that at all, that I have to like whip out my stylus really quick and trace, you know, like a pentagram on the screen or whatever. Uh, aside from that small little quirk, I think this is a really solid game and uh, definitely worth picking up. Uh, there's another Castlevania for DS that I, I don't have right now. I can't remember the name right now. There's Order of, Ecc Order of Ecclesia, Dawn of Sorrow, and something I, it's not coming to me right now but anyway I, I do want to pick that one up eventually uh, also on DS I got Mega Man Zero collection uh, this is uh, all four uh, Mega Man Zero games that came out on DS in one cool kind of greatest hits package if you will uh, these are really underrated games by the way they're super fun uh, I do think uh, more people should check them out I feel like it kind of just flew under the radar for a lot of people because it wasn't uh, I don't know maybe because it was on the DS who knows um, I also got a copy of uh, The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, which uh, if you have not played this, this is probably one of my favorite Zelda games to come out in recent years. Uh, it is completely different from a lot of the uh, other Zelda games that have come out. 
on uh, like for the GBA for instance because it's uh, you can you can go in any order you can uh, get your weapons and purchase them in any order and use them whenever you want so there's there's more of a, a freedom that this game allows you that the other ones don't and uh, for that reason alone I think it's super super awesome also the 3d on it's pretty cool I don't tend to play a lot of 3ds games with 3d on but uh, this one is definitely one that uh, is worth playing with 3d on uh, let's see what else did I pick up I picked up the Nathan Drake uh, collection or Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, Drake's Fortune, Among Thieves, and Drake's Deception. It's confession time, guys. I've never actually played any of the Uncharted games, and Uncharted 4 just came out, and I felt sort of left out of that whole thing. So I picked this up because I, I need to play some catch-up. Uh, I don't know anything about Uncharted. I, I know that they're really good games, and Naughty Dog designed them, and um, on the strength of The Last of Us uh, and everybody else's review that says it's amazing, I, you know, it was a no-brainer to pick that up. Uh, really great game. And on uh, that same trip, I also picked up Dying Light on PS4. Uh, my friend Allie really, really enjoyed this game, and uh, the way she, you know, talked about how much fun she was having with it made me want to go pick it up. So uh, uh, this is pretty cheap these days at uh, GameStop as well, so I picked that up, and uh, I would recommend picking it up as well. Uh, finally, I got a copy of Mega Man 8 here on the PS1. Unfortunately, I bought it off eBay, and it said complete. Uh, you can see this is not complete, right? Uh, I wrote the seller. I told them, "Hey, look, I'm kind of disappointed. This is this is not complete." And he had some lame excuse about, "Oh, I'm sorry, I sent you the wrong one," or something. I don't know what his. I don't know if you're running a business on eBay, like send people the right stuff. But anyway, he ended up refunding me like five bucks. I, I guess that's fair-ish. I would rather have the manual, but whatever. And so um, now I have Mega Man 8 for the PS1, which I... Hey, look, I know it's corny with the voice acting. A lot of people will say it's one of the weaker Mega Mans, but I... I don't know, I find it uh, sort of uh, enjoyable in the way that it's so bad. I don't know, it has these weird anime uh, cutscenes in it that are ridiculous, and uh, they're, they're great. Play it if you have not. Uh, so that is it. That is the, the few games I picked up in the last three months. And uh, so uh, let me show you everything together. All right, guys, that is it. That is the total haul. Everything I have picked up in the last three months. Not a lot of stuff, but I'm not trying to buy a whole lot of stuff that I'm not going to play. So this is it. But I hope you enjoyed watching me talk about it and pick it up and all that good stuff. So if this is your first time seeing this channel, thank you so much for watching and I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe and like button. All the support means everything to me and I really appreciate it and I look forward to making more videos for you guys in the future. Until then, happy collecting!